Right, what I'm going to show you right now is how to uh, touch up a touch up a portrait, get rid of some blemishes, um, and uh, just make the uh, an overall portrait better. Um, so I've got this picture of my daughter here, and there are a number of things I don't like about it. Um, her hair is blowing into her mouth. She's got a spot on her face. Uh, there's some sort of dark spots under her eyes and I'm going to clean that up okay so you do want to zoom in to the area you want to work um, use the magnifying glass it's the bottom tool on the tool palette <clears throat> and just click and drag around that area and it will zoom it in nice and tight so here we can see quite a bit better some of the problems. Uh, it was a windy day, so her hair was blowing around a lot. So um, we'll do some of the easy touch-ups first, like this red spot uh, near her eye. We can use the spot healing brush. Um, very simple tool to use. You want to work with your, I'm right-clicking uh, to get this menu here. Um, you want to use a diameter that is just a little bit larger than what you're going to repair. Hardness, uh, typically I say keep it fairly soft. And then the spacing has to do with um, how much of an area around it it sort of samples from. Um, you can sort of explore that. And then just hit enter. And I'm just going to move over this spot and click. And it will disappear. And I'll click a few times around just sort of smooth it out. Just got another little red spot right here. And a little freckle over here. And of course if you want to get rid of freckles you can. Or you can leave them. I'll get rid of them just for the sake of the demo. Clean up her nose a little bit right there. A little freckle. And that's all with the spot healing brush. Okay. Now, if you have larger areas like these uh, sort of dark spots under her eyes, um, you can use the patch tool. That's the um, same location on the tool palette, but you have to click and hold and choose patch tool. Uh, notice on the um, options bar along the top, source and destination. Okay, I uh, will use source first. So, um, if I draw a shape around this area that I want to work on, and then click and drag it over here to where the skin is smoother, and let go, you can see that that looks much better now. It, those blemishes are now gone, and this tool analyzes the values in the area where you're repairing so that it matches. I'll do the same thing over here. Still using source. So I'll select the area I want to repair. And I'm going to drag this down a little bit and let go. And that will smooth that out. If you see any kind of edges, it's not quite working right, just undo it or step back and try moving a little bit more and see if that helps. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so we got rid of those dark spots in our eyes. Um, I'm going to use the patch tool for the the hair on her skin. I'm just going to go all the way around this. Drag it up over here and let go. And we have now Gotten rid, uh, gotten rid of all uh, the hair, a lot of the heavy hair. And there's still some hair around her lips, um, and I'm going to have to deal with that uh, more specifically. So I'm going to switch back to my move tool and zoom in much tighter on the lips. And here I'm going to use the um, spot healing brush. And I'm just going to come in, whoops. Maybe not. Let's use the healing brush. Okay, with the healing brush, you have to option, hold down the option, you get a target, 
and click on the area you want to sample from. Okay, so I'll click there and I'll move over here and start working down and getting rid of some of those fibers. Move into the lip. Again, option, click to sample the red of the lip. Move over the hairs there. And every time you see that little target, I'm pushing down my option key and move into the teeth. Move back to the lips. Option click. Click over. Come out here. This area is still a little bit dirty. Hair. Right on the edge of the lip. Right on the edge of the lip. Right on the edge of the lip. And just keep working it. Might need to get a little bit smaller brush. And there we go. Gums. Tooth. Lip. Keep working it. I'll scroll over. Clean up right here a little bit. Okay. Scrolling around. Much better. Hit Command Zero to zoom out all the way. Looking much better now. Her forehead, and she's got some uh, hair. Uh, on her nose. I'm not going to worry about the hair on the forehead. I, that doesn't bother me too much, but I'm going to get this hair around her nose. And um, I think I'll just keep using the um, whoops, the spot healing brush, or the healing brush. And just working, clicking, clicking. You can see that little X appearing there. That's where the sample is coming from. So it does tend to stay right next to where you're working. If I move over here, it's still going to be in that original location. But it will sort of stay parallel. Um, just clicking back and forth between the option key and then clicking to work out those hairs, get those hairs out of there. That's uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of little touching up I could do here, but overall, much better. Okay, and I did uh, duplicate my um, layer, so I'm gonna turn it on and off just to show you the difference. Okay, so this is after, and this is before. Definitely better. Still some touching up that can be done, but. This looks a whole lot better as a portrait. Okay, so that is uh, using the healing brushes and the patch tool to clean up blemishes on a face.